Okay, so hello and welcome back. So in the previous videos, we talked about measurement and essentially we talked about the measurement of length or distance, mass and volume. And we came up with different unit, essentially different units that are used in essentially in measuring length, distance and mass and volume. Um, and the unit essentially the, your measurement is always something like for example two centimeters two centimeter would be your measurement your measurement essentially has two essential parts one part is the number the other part is the is the unit right so the number essentially is just like a number one two three four five and so on and so forth but then the number itself without any context does not will not mean anything to you meaning that if i told you for example a two you would ask two what two students two teachers two centimeters two millimeters two kilometers two i don't know kilograms two cubic centimeters two what two days two months right so it doesn't mean anything the two without essentially just the two without if i don't give you a context it you cannot it's just not possible to make sense of it and so a number essentially is something that doesn't mean anything in and of itself but in any context essentially it takes the meaning of that 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 context and it can be used in any context where essentially a number can be used right so then basically you have your number and then you have your unit your unit could be a centimeter could be a kilogram could be a cubic centimeter or essentially it could be a minute a, a second it could be anything so the unit essentially measures something for example it measures distance or it measures mass or it measures volume right now we talked about all of this but then essentially what happens here is that some, essentially most of the time you're going to need to convert these units or essentially these measurements essentially the unit in the measurement has to be converted in most cases in many cases and the case is for example is that basically a let's say that for example you have a recipe and there and you want to 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 essentially to to make a cake for example you want to you want to bake a cake for example and in the baking recipe the recipe tells you that you need essentially 850 grams of this particular ingredient for example flour or whatever that might be 850 grams right now you have one of those scales in your kitchen and then the scale has basically has this is is something like this it has a it has essentially a dial over here so it has essentially a dial like this and so the dial goes like this and then you have basically something like this so this goes for example something like this so that's zero one two three four five and six and uh, seven so this would be let's say that this is a seven and and so this is essentially in kilograms right this is in kilograms so this is a one and the unit is kilograms here and then you have essentially a bowl on the top of the on the top of the scale and then you can essentially put something on the on, on in the bowl and then the the needle essentially moves to in order to tell you the weight or essentially or the mass of whatever it is that you have put essentially in the in the bowl right so then that ingredient essentially you put it in the bowl and uh, then what happens is that for example let's say that the needle goes all the way up to i don't know all the way up to here some somewhere about here 
And so this is 1.5, for example, kilograms, which is the same as one and a half kilograms, right? Um, I'm making I'm making the assumption that I'm I'm keeping the level of this of these of this of this course to class six standard basically. So I'm making the assumption that, for example, decimal numbers you don't basically understand, but one and a half kilograms, of course, you do understand, it, right? So. So then, so then the, the 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 scale is telling me that the, that the mass is one point five kilograms, essentially one one and a half kilograms, and then the recipe tells me that the that essentially the amount of it, the amount of ingredient that I need is eight hundred fifty grams, and now I need because I want to to make the the cake. I need to be able to decide now what to do with this ingredient. Is it too much is it too little what what am i supposed to do now right so then i have to know essentially the relationship between these two measurements so for example one and a half kilograms 850 grams which one is more which one is less and if one of them is more by how much and so what am i supposed to do so then um if I say that, for example, two centimeters and five centimeters, if you if you were to know essentially the relationship between two centimeters and five centimeters, of course you would immediately tell me that five centimeters is a larger distance than two centimeters because on your ruler, you see that the five essentially five centimeters is a larger distance on the ruler, right? You can see it with your eyes. But then if I told you that, for example, five centimeters and, for example, two meters, then, well, again, because you know that the meter is, 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 is a rather large distance compared to a centimeter, you can tell that, for example, two meters is, 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 a, is larger than five centimeters. But then, for example, let's say that, let's say that you don't, you don't simply know about, let's say that you don't simply know about, for example, the centimeter and the meter, meaning that you have not seen this in real life. And then if you were to compare the five centimeter and two meters, then you couldn't tell me which one is larger, which one is smaller, right? So, which means that essentially, unless, essentially, if the units are the same, meaning we are essentially on both sides, we are talking about centimeter and centimeter, then of course, then you, you know that the only thing that you need to do in order to compare these two measurements is to take the numbers into consideration. Wherever the number is larger, that measurement is larger, right? Meaning that, for example, if I say five apples and, and, and two potatoes, for example, apples and potatoes you cannot compare because if I say, for example, five apples and two apples, you would say that five apples would is more, are more. If I say that five potatoes and three potatoes, then you would say that five potatoes is more because we are talking about potatoes and potatoes, apples and apples, oranges and oranges. But then apples and, for example, apples and um, oranges, you cannot compare. It's just not possible. It's the same thing over here. So a centimeter and a meter, because these are two different, essentially, units, and they refer to two different types of distances, you cannot compare these two unless you essentially make changes to the unit, right? But then if the units are the same, meaning that centimeter and centimeter on both sides, then the only thing that you need to do is just compare the numbers. Wherever the number is larger, that measurement is larger, right? So in this case, again, I need to make changes to the units, meaning the units that I have here, and then I can compare, right? 
<coughs> if I say that if if I if I do the my con conversion right, I know that 1.5 kilograms, which is one one and a half kilograms, is the same thing as 1,500 grams, right? I'll tell you, I'll show you essentially how that is done. And then this is equal to 1,500 grams, basically. And now you have basically 1,500 grams and 850 grams. So you know that this is larger, right? So that means that essentially you have to essentially take something out of the bowl so that so as to get to 850 grams. And so then you can just simply say that, for example, 1,500 grams minus 850 grams is the same as for example uh, i don't know 650 grams for example if i'm not mistaken then i know that essentially 650 grams i have to take out of the bowl so that the remaining amount of ingredient over here is 850 and then the 850 i can use in my cake basically right so this is the the practical importance of unit conversion. This is the practical uh, importance of unit unit conversion. Right? So now the only thing that remains here is the is the is the problem is the trouble with um, basic school books meaning class five class six or so or, or, or essentially these types of levels when i mean essentially in 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 for example in the text that i'm using over here it just simply tells you that for example one meter is the same thing as 100 centimeters right and then you have you're supposed to somehow memorize this and then they tell you things like for example this is greater this is larger this is smaller whenever you want to go whenever you want you want to go from larger to smaller you have to i don't know multiply or divide otherwise you have to do the the reverse and things like that so it's just memorizing a whole bunch of things and then do the same and then in the examination you get the if you get the correct answer then your answer is right otherwise your answer is not right right so which is now of course it's not really necessary to memorize all of these things because these are all conventions and the and the conventions you can learn and then the the logical part of con of of converting one unit from con going from un one unit essentially to another, that is a logical thing which is which involves basically multiplication or division that you can do and that you don't have to memorize in in any way, and so the whole thing essentially becomes easy and understandable. So now let's let's take a look at one of these units for example the the distance and see how we can go from essentially one of the units to essentially some other units basically now uh, if we talk about basically length or distance for example then you see that mm, basically you see that essentially the that essentially the unit that we use for the unit that we use for the for distance is the meter right and and so for example the meter has a definition it has it's a convention uh, basically what the convention is 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 convention is something that everybody in the world basically have agreed upon something meaning that for example they have agreed upon the fact that the definition that for example a meter is this particular length for example right for example, somebody has said that because I'm very, I don't know, uh, in the past it was like this. So there was a king, for example, he, who was very powerful, for example, in the in, in a country. 
in France, for example, and then he would he would say that, uh, for example, the length of my foot becomes the standard standard for foot, which is something about, for example, thirty centimeters, for example. So something about thirty centimeters is equal to, for example, one foot, and this foot happened to be, for example the foot of the foot length of some for example of some king in in france for example many years ago like for example uh, 700 years ago six seven hundred years ago right but then this essentially the length of the foot of that king you could not reproduce it in other parts of the world and so it 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 it, it tended to it tends this this kind of setting the setting standards of length for example would create chaos and problems all around the world and then then what happens is that for example then every country had had to have their own definition of the foot in one country the foot was a little bit smaller in some other country the foot was a little bit larger in some other country, the foot didn't exist at all. So that 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 this, these kinds of problems essentially existed in the past. And the problem with this with this kind of def defining a unit is that basically, then some person, some for example, scientists in one country could not communicate properly with another scientist in some other country because the foot in that country was something else the foot in the other country was something else the essentially the two scientists were saying the same thing one of them was saying two feet and then the other one was also saying for example the same thing two feet but but essentially these two feet essentially that these two people were using represented different lengths basically because the foot in this country and in that country they were different lengths basically to begin with right so then what happened was that there was the the there was a um, system of um, there was there was some organization in france i suppose that that they essentially what they do is that they define standards for the whole world and then they created something called basically the SI system SI system of units basically in the SI system of units then essentially what happened was that everything was defined basically scientifically meaning that they said that for example a meter was the distance that light for example uh, covered in a, in in vacuum in so many seconds for example right so then wherever you go in the world the light is the same light the vacuum is the same vacuum and then the time is the same time so then you would come up with the same exact length wherever you go in the world and so then basically this this meter that the si unit had uh, had defined scientifically this could be reproduced all over the world with basic scientific apparatus with basic scientific basic the um, tools they could they, you could essentially reproduce the exact same meter right so with a high level of accuracy and so without any problems without creating any problems of communication between people from different countries and so on and so forth right now so now let's assume that the that the definition for meter has been taken care of by the by the si system and the and the and essentially the meter is carefully defined and it is reproducible all over the world right now there is other things that in a measurement that you can see for example you say a centi and the meter is represented by a by essentially a lowercase m which means essentially the meter 
But you see, for example, we have a centimeter, we have a millimeter, we have a, for example, kilometer, and so on and so forth. Meaning that there is the centi part, there is the milli part, there is the kilo part, right? Now, these essentially are called prefixes. These are called prefixes. These are called prefixes in the SI unit. In the same SI unit, essentially, we have these different prefixes. So essentially, prefix, the word prefix, what this means, it, it, it is prefix, meaning it is fixed to something pre, meaning before something. And then you have, we have also something called a suffix. A suffix is something that you attach to something to the end of something, meaning after something. So prefix comes before something, suffix comes after something, right? So as you can see, essentially the centi is a prefix, meaning it comes before meter. Milli is a prefix, it comes before meter. Kilo is a prefix, it comes before meter, right? So that's a prefix. And then these prefixes have, essentially they have, they have simple mathematical meanings. Meaning that, for example, a centi is the same thing as it corresponds to essentially 10 raised to the power negative 2, right? That's a centi. A milli corresponds to 10 raised to the power negative 3. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll show you essentially what that means. That's a milli. And then a kilo corresponds to 10 raised to the power 3. That's a kilo, right? So 10 raised to the power negative 2, what that means, in mathematics, mathematically what that means, that means essentially 1 over 10 raised to the power 2. And you know that essentially 10 raised to the power 2 means 10 times 10, which is 100, right? Or for example, 10 raised to the power negative 3 is the same thing as 1 over 10 raised to the power 3, right? which is the same thing as 1 over, that is 10 times 10 times 10, which is the same thing as 1,000. So that means that 10 raised to the power negative 2 is 100th. 10 raised to the power negative 3 is 1,000th. And then a kilo, which is 10 raised to the power 3, is, is the same thing as 10 times 10 times 10. That is essentially 10 times 10 times 10, which is the same thing as 1,000 right so this simply means that essentially whenever you have for example a centi which is 10 raised to the power negative 2 that means that then the meter is multiplied by a factor of 1 1, one over 100 right so for example a 2 centimeter is the same thing as 2 into 1 over 100 meter which is the same thing as 2 over 100 meter, which is the same thing as essentially divide by 2, that's 1 over 50 meters, right? That's 1 50th of a meter. Or for example, when you, when you say, for example, a millimeter, um, a millimeter essentially, um, for example, let's say 5 millimeters, you have seen essentially the millimeter on your, on your, basically on your ruler, which is very small graduations on your ruler. So the, the 5 millimeter, that simply means essentially, that means that the milli, the milli means 10 raised to the power negative 3, which is 1 over 1,000, right? So that is 5 times 1 over 1,000, meters which is five thousandth of a meter right that is five thousandth of a meter or or essentially if you say for example one millimeter that is one over into one over a thousand basically meter which is one thousandth of a of a meter which means that if you take a meter 
and divided that into 1000 equal distances then one of those distances would be a millimeter right and then by the same logic for example when you say that for example the distance between new delhi and karnataka is for example 1800 for example approximately kilometers that means 1800 into essentially kilo which is 10 raised to power 3 which is a thousand meters which is the same thing as 1800 and then three zeros add here because you're multiplying meters and then that would be 1,800,000 meters basically that's a large distance essentially right so then in order to convert um in order essentially to convert the these these essentially these units essentially to go from centimeter to meter millimeter to meter 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 is already meter and kilometer to meter the only thing that you need to know is the meaning of centi milli and kilo for example and of course in the there is a there is a table in the si system of these prefixes there is a whole bunch of these prefixes let me show you one of them for example so now as you can see for example this page is on wikipedia and this is called metric prefixes and you can see that for example this is the si prefixes and so you see that basically you go from essentially 10 raised to power 0 which is 1 and then you have 10 raised to power 1 which is for example called the deca a hecto 10 raised to power 3 which is the kilo that we already talked about then we have the mega we have the giga we have the we have the t terra we have the pita exa zeta yota rona and cueta for example cueta or cueta i don't know how that's supposed to be pronounced but as you can see, for example, a mega, for example, which is represented by a, by a uppercase M, is essentially is 10 raised to power 6, which means that 10 times, 10 times, 10 times, and 6 times, which is a million, right? Then, for example, you have the giga, which is a billion. Then you have the tera, which is a trillion, and so on and so forth, right? And then on the other end, you have the deci, for example, decimeter, if you have heard of that. You, all of these, of course, are used in physics and chemistry in all sciences, essentially. The centi is 10 raised to the power negative 2, which is 1 hundredth, which is 1 over 100. The milli, for example, is 10 raised to the power negative 3, which is 1 thousandth, which, is, which means 1 over 1,000. The micro... The nano, pico, femto, ato, zepto, yocto, ronto, and cuento, right? These are, I suppose, Roman. The, some of these names are um, Roman. The other ones are, essentially, they are taken from two different languages, okay? So now the only thing that you need to know, essentially, you need to understand the meaning of these prefixes and for now the only thing that you need to know is the kilo which is 10 raised to power 3 which is a thousand you need to know about the centi and milli the rest are not used essentially in what we are doing right now right otherwise then later on you're going to use them in physics and uh, chemistry in science and other sciences so the centi is 1 over 100, the milli is 1 over 1,000, and then the kilo is, one, is essentially 1,000. That's essentially all that you need to know, right? Now, so that, that essentially means that, for example, um, that essentially means that, for example, if you were to go from, now you can essentially simply go from a centimeter to a meter millimeter to a meter kilometer to a meter right that's easy now let's do a couple of these and then we will we will we can also make it a little bit more complicated meaning for example how do you go from a centimeter to a millimeter not to a meter but but to a millimeter how do you go from a kilometer to a centimeter how do you go from a millimeter to a kilometer all of those things of course you can do 
right so we'll talk about that now essentially if you take a look at if you take a look at the um if you take a look at basically uh the um let's forget about these for now these two essentially you go from millimeter to centimeter so these these this is different but here you have a meter to centimeter meter to millimeter essentially kilometer to meter and then kilometer to millimeter this one also we will talk about it later but these three over here how essentially i have taken this out of the text and based on the text we know that essentially one meter is the same thing as a hundred centimeters and it's also equal to the thousand millimeters and essentially a a thousand meters is equal to one kilometer how do how do we know that so if i have basically a hundred a hundred centimeters which i can write either centimeter or i can of course in indian english or essentially in in, in indian english you would write it as centimeter like this in american english you would write it like this right but in any case a centimeter you can write it as centimeter right i don't know if they are going to accept this for you from you in the examination but essentially that's that's how you can write it in generally you can write a centimeter like a cm right so then this 100 centimeters basically what is that in meters right so that is the same thing as 100 into basically a centi which is essentially 10 raised to the power negative 2 which is 1 over which is essentially 1 over 10 raised to the power 2 which is the same thing as 1 over 100 right so essentially that means that the centi whenever you have a centi that means essentially 1 over 100 whenever you have a milli that as we discussed it's so it's the same thing as 1 over 1000 and whenever you have a kilo it means essentially 1000 right so then basically you have 10 essentially 100 centimeters that's 100 times centi which is 1 over 100 meters right and so that's essentially 100 over 100 meters and 100 over 100 is 1 that's just 1 meter which means that 100 centimeters is the same thing as 1 meter right that's essentially what we had over here right now if you now then 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 for example the second one a a meter is the same thing as a thousand millimeters so then basically a thousand now let's let me do the the the, the inverse of that of the operation that we that we did here as well if i have essentially a meter um how can i how can i know what that is essentially in centimeters suppose that i have essentially one meter and i i want to know that is how many centimeters right so how do i how do i how do i know this so essentially a meter is the same thing as and essentially in these types of conversions what you need to do is that you need to um, you need to essentially um, you need to just simply um, um, you need to essentially use the fact that for example let's say that a thousand over a thousand is equal to one right and any number that you multiply by a one it's going to be the same thing um now what i mean by this is that for example a thousand over a thousand is equal to one a hundred over a hundred is again equal to one a 10 over a 10 is equal to one a 25 over a 25 is again equal to one if you have essentially a division 
a over b for example in the case of which a is equal to b meaning the numerator and the denominator have the same values the fraction or essentially the division is always going to be equal to one right and then one times any number is that number itself right meaning that for example a thousand times one is a one a ten million times a one is a one a two times a one is a one a three times a one is a one and so on and so forth right so these two principles meaning that any number times a one is a one and any number essentially if you have a division in the case of which the essentially you're dividing the same amount by the same amount you're always going to get a one these two principles you can use them in order to do these conversions without essentially needing to um, memorize to memorize anything right so how do you do that for example a meter so that's essentially one meter and then I multiply it by something that gives me essentially that 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 essentially gives me what I want meaning I want centimeter so a centi essentially a centi I know that it is essentially 10 raised to the power negative 2 or essentially 1 over 100 1 over 100 right so I'm dividing centi by 1 over 100 so this is the same thing as 1 meter or essentially or essentially the centi you can you can take it you can put it together with meter so that becomes 1 centimeter and then and then that's times basically 1 over 1 over 100 now 1 over 1 over 100 is just 100 right because for example 1 over 1 half is the same thing as 2 1 over basically 1 thirds is the same thing as 3 and in general you can say that 1 over essentially 1 over a is, is equal to a right a being any number right now um so essentially what this means is that so this is essentially then one centimeter times basically one over one one over one over hundred is the same thing as hundred so that's just a hundred centimeters which essentially tells me that one meter is the same thing as essentially hundred centimeters right so this is going the other way around so this essentially again shows shows the exact same thing that we have over here that one meter is the same thing as 100 centimeters right now i'm going to end this video here because it's going it, the video is getting too long uh, i will uh, continue with the same discussion in the next video thank you